Everybody talks about the new offensive style, but defensively, you guys are still where you always are, but you're just doing it in a different way. How have you been able to maintain that defensive disposition with this new style of offense? Well, first, we have, we have players that care about that end. You know, in, in particular, three of our starters, George Hill, Paul George, and Jan Mahimi, are three of the best in the NBA at their position defensively. So it starts there. Um, but obviously, as a, as a coaching staff, you know, we have a, a high standard of, of uh, proficiency of what we expect on a defensive end. And, and we command that from these guys, and, you know, they're working to get it done. I think, um, you know, I, I've been saying all along, the spread offense is, has a lot of uh, offensive benefits, but, but playing small in today's NBA, where all these other teams are trying to play small, gives us more speed to cover these spread lineups. So I think our versatility you know, on the defensive end is better than it's been the last couple of years. Frank, you guys have been <coughs> extremely, uh, the first three or four ball games, you guys seem to sputter offensively, didn't have a lot of chemistry. Then all of a sudden, over these last 10, 11 ball games, the chemistry and the swagger has just been through the roof. Talk to us about how you've been able to just turn that thing around so quickly and get everybody gelling on the same page, even offensively. You know, I think these guys have had, a, and, and I've had a great deal of belief in who we can be as a basketball team this year. We've talked about it from day one in training camp. We've uh, built on every, every confidence in the preseason. Um, had several practices where our offense just exploded for um, insane numbers, you know, throughout a, a, a 12 minute scrimmage and whatnot. And, um, you know, the belief's been strong all, all the way through. You know, we, we came out of the gates a little bit slow um, for whatever reason, a couple, couple different reasons about those three games. But, you know, the mindset was always, you know, this, is, this isn't just going to be a hiccup. This is not who we are. Okay, we're going to be a great team this year. And, um, you know, I think it was just a matter of sustaining that belief. Something changed with Jordan Hill, and also, where was he during the game? I don't know where he was during the game. His uh, his his back locked up before the game in warm ups, uh, his sore lower back. So um, he was here. You know, he was in the locker room afterwards. Um, was he not out on the bench? Not that I saw. Yeah. Um, well, he probably didn't bring the necessary clothes because he was expecting to play. Now, I don't know the, the exactly, but uh, you know, he just he's he's day to day. He, you know, he's back locked up, and we'll see where he's at tomorrow. With that and going on a West Coast trip, do you anticipate calling up Rakeem? If we Orford? feel like he's going to be out, you know, then uh, you know, certainly we'll, you know, we'll look at uh, our D-League guys. You went to Solomon Hill needing defense and stepped up in big just 10 minutes of action. What did you see there? Yeah, you know, I really just needed minutes. And, um, you know, Glenn Robbins sort of has been ahead of him and, and Chase ahead of him in the depth chart. But, um, you know, when we needed him, I mean, they had Gibson and Noah out there, and you know I felt like that was a you know Taj Gibson is a guy that can really uh, move his feet well, and he's a tough guy, tough guy to exploit with a spread offense. <coughs> um, you know by playing a smaller guy, if you were playing Glenn or or Chase, and um, you know he's a guy that can exploit and can win the matchup against a small four. So uh, we needed some minutes there. Jan and and Lavoie both uh, were either in foul trouble or looked a little gassed. And, um, you know, we told Solo before the game that he's got to stay ready and, you know, we'll see how it goes. I was going to use a three-man rotation with C.J. LeBoy and Jan as my three quote-unquote bigs. And, um, you know, I felt like I, uh, I was concerned about those guys having legs in the fourth quarter. So I want to get a, couple, a few minutes from Solomon. And that kid stepped up, man. I mean, he played terrific. Not, not, just, not just filled in for a few minutes, but... Played great defense, rebounded well against a, a, a great big in, in um, Gibson, six man a year type of guy, and made some really solid offensive plays. You know, um, three assists. You know, the, his run, he was a plus eight, you know, while he was in there, and his run was a big part in us closing out that game. Kind of a follow up to that, you have so many weapons. You know, you bring him out of nowhere, he does this, you know, Lavoy gets a double double off the bench. It seems like, you know, you're getting so many guys doing so many different things. Yeah, I mean, our our roster from, I don't know what you want to say, from 6 to 15 or 6 to 13 right now, and in our D-League, our D-League guys are really good too. Um, you know, it's just it's just rock solid, you know. I mean, I, I trust all of these guys, you know. Solomon Hill was my leader in minutes last year, 
You know, I, of course I trust him to go out and, and, and play the game the right way and, and give us winning basketball, you know, and obviously what Glenn Robinson would be able to do, what Chase has come in and be able to, been able to do. Um, the boy Allen, I've always been a huge fan of. You know, I always felt like, you know, he, he if, if I gave him a, a bigger role, he would kill it. You know, he was terrific tonight. You know, making some big offensive plays, which is not what we ask of him. But, um, you know, great defense, rebound on basketball, good passing, and he scored the ball some. So, you know, I, I really like what we have on his team. Were you on the verge of taking Jan out of the game because of the free throw situation? Look like yeah, if he went, oh, he he was zero for two. The first one I was going to take him out, and um, you got another chance. Another chance went one for two, I think. And as long as he's making one for two, I was going to leave him in. Uh, if it was a series of one for twos, we would take him out. <laughs> but um, you know, he I've been feeling like look, he, this guy makes ninety percent in in practice every day, and I'm not talking when he shoots a hundred out to practice. I'm talking, you know, uh, practice scrimmages. We, we, we call fouls on, you know, uh, when Jan's going to the basket, even when he doesn't get fouled. So he shoots game free throws. Yeah. You know, and everyone's like, it's not a foul. I'm like, I don't care. I want him shooting some game free throws. It's a different repetition, so to speak. And he makes them. So, you know, there's a confidence there that, he, that he's going he's gonna to stabilize and he's going to, you know, um, start knocking these things down. And uh, I think tonight was a big step in that direction. Speaking of Jan, what role specifically has he played in the way you guys have played defense this year? You know, I, I think he's, you know, uh, his game, so to speak, his defensive game is exactly what this NBA needs. You know, the way everybody's playing small, to have speed on the perimeter, to have the ability to have, uh, you know, be strong enough you know, in the low post to battle these big centers, which he is. He's a great leverage defender, uh, but also having the foot speed to, you know, chase around deep shooters, you know, Pau Gasol and Olenek and, you know, just, just all these guys that play the five spot that can space you out. You know, he's he's unique. He, he really is, you know, and um, obviously a big, big part of, uh, of what we're doing defensively. Frank, how much is it a pleasure to – see Paul get frustrated and then use it as a fuel to be more positive, to be more aggressive, instead of letting it sort of unravel him, uh, which could happen for maybe a younger player. Uh, yeah, that's how you have to approach it. You know, you don't want to get technicals, especially late in games. And, um, you know, if it continues to, to not go your way, then, you know, it's – look, you get you get mad, you know, when, when that sort of thing happens. So what are you going to do about it? You're going to – are you going to pout about it? Are you going to, you know, blow a gasket and get thrown out? Or are you going to channel it into aggression, you know, on the offensive end and, and being in attack mode? And I thought he did that. That's what we talk about. Um, you know, there's been some situations where Monte has done the same type of thing, you know, where he's been, he's been frustrated. And so, well, take it out on, on the offensive end, you know, go and be in attack mode. So uh, I was proud of that, that, that Paul did that tonight. Uh, speaking of Monte, uh, how nice is it knowing that you're ne he doesn't he doesn't need to score 20 points to have a good game that he can still facilitate he can still rebound he can still create steals and make transition baskets yeah he's he's been one of our best playmakers you know and the scoring numbers aren't what they uh they have been in the past but they they don't need to be what they they have been in the past you know and we've got uh a share the basketball type of approach here and uh, the open man's going to get the shot and you know as long as he stays in a, in attack mode you know, he's always a threat out there, and he's always capable of exploding for, for 20, 30 points. And, uh, you know, I, I just I, I love that he's not forcing it, that he's trying to make make the right basketball play and setting people up and working hard on the defensive end. Need your help. Any Google search on your team, and I see surprise, surprise, surprise everywhere, and I hate the word. I think it's a backhanded compliment. I hate it when coaches are asked, are you surprised? Oh, yeah, shocked. Give me another word to describe what you guys have done at 10 and 5. You know, I don't know if there's another word. I mean, it's, it's, it's early. You know, it's early. You know, we, we believe in who we can be this year. You know, I mean, that's, it's that simple. You know, I, I love the defensive versatility we have to match uh, small lineups. And we got a, a small lineup that, you know, is capable of just flat out exploding. Like you saw in Washington, that's very difficult to guard. That is forcing 
uh, opposing quote unquote defensive coordinators to change their lineups to try to match up with us. We're dictating the terms and, and that's exciting. And, you know, we don't have big name bigs, but we have really good bigs. Mm -hmm. I mean, the boy Allen, Jordan Hill and Yamahimi are really good veteran guys. And, and I'm going to talk about Miles Turner and Rakeem Christmas, you know, and Shane Whittington. I mean, the guys that are young players, you know, they're exciting too. So there's a lot to be excited, uh, with our team, if there's, you know, one word. <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. I just, I'm going to write the, I don't want to hear surprise. I hate the word surprise because it seems like a, almost a negative connotation to it. Oh, we're surprised. Yeah, I well, it's... I don't know if people realize how much you guys fought last year and how it went down the last day and yeah. without Paul all year. I just, and I know that's, old news and I guess we can't rehash it but I'm trying to give you guys maybe a little more credit than people have we got a winning you. we have a winning culture here and you know hopefully it sustains what we've done the last couple of weeks you know sustains throughout the course of the year and we win at this rate um you know but we got a great uh we've got a great front office that brings in you know really good players at the at the right price that doesn't go nuts over paying and uh manages the salary cap structure well and um, you know we've got a good system and good culture in implementing you know the you know the mindset to to make sure we're guarding and sharing the basketball on the offensive end. So um, you know, I believe in our team.